Catch the ball, Peppa. <laughs> to you, Susie. <laughs> to me, Susie. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'll fetch it. <laughs> to me, Danny. <laughs> Thank you, Danny. But we are practicing our throwing, too. Oh, yes. <laughs> and now to you, George. Oh. George has dropped the ball. George is not very good at catching. Don't worry, George. Try throwing the ball instead. To me, George. Throw it to me. <laughs> oh, George has thrown the ball backwards. George! I'll fetch it. <laughs> Danny is good at fetching the ball. <laughs> I like fetching. That's good, because fetching is an important part of bat and ball too. Can we play bat and ball now? Yes, Peppa will throw the ball. I'm good at that. And Susie will hit the ball with this bat. I'm good at that. The rest of us will all run after the ball. And I'm good at that. Susie, you will run around the cones like this to win a point. Ooh. But if anyone catches the ball, Susie is out and gets no points. Oh. Let's play. Everyone takes their positions for bat and ball. Are you ready, Susie? Stand back, everyone. I'm going to hit it a million miles. Ooh. Ready? Ready. Run, Susie, run. Oh, yes. <laughs> Quick, get the ball. Get it. I got all the way around. I win one point. Well done, Susie. Let's play bat and ball. Peppa can throw the ball and George has to bat it. <laughs> but if anyone catches the ball, George is out. OK. Caught it! <laughs> George is out. <laughs> George is a bit too little even for bat and ball. You just need a bit more practice, George. Watch me. Wow! Oops, I'll just get the ball back. Hello, Mummy Pig. Uh, can we have our ball back, please? Yes, but please play more carefully in future. Yes, Mummy Pig. Sorry, Mummy Pig. Here is Danny Dog. What are you doing? We're playing bat and ball. My daddy is very good at it. He batted the ball all the way into the house. Well, can I play bat and ball too? Uh, maybe it's time for a different garden game. Like what? Limbo! What's limbo when it's at home? I'll show you. I know. You jump over it. It's much too high to jump over. Ho, ho, ho. We go under the limbo pole and we need music to do it. <laughs> Daddy Pig is very good at limbo. Wow! Ah, but now we'll put the pole a bit lower. <laughs> OK. Oh! Daddy, your tummy is too big to go under the pole. My tummy is not too big. I just can't bend like I used to. <laughs> <laughs> My turn! And me! And me! <laughs> Well done, everyone. Ooh. One day, Teddy was playing football when, whoopsie, he tripped over the ball. Somebody calls for the ambulance. Freddy, would you mind making the ambulance noise, please? Nina, Nina, <laughs> Nina! First thing I do is see if the person is awake. Are you awake? Yes, Doctor. Do you know your name? My name is Mr. Teddy. Can you tell me what happened, Mr. Teddy? I tripped over a football. That was a bit silly, wasn't it? <laughs> Let's put that football where no one else can trip over it. Now, tell me, Mr. Teddy, which bit hurts? My arm hurts. 
We just need to bandage that arm up. And because you have been such a brave boy, you get a sticker. And that's how the ambulance works. Wonderful. Children, say thank you to Dr. Brown Bear. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. You're very welcome. And remember, always look where you're going. Then... Oh, Dr. Brown Bear is rolling down the hill. Ow, 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 ow. He rolled through a prickly bush. Ow, ow, ow. He hit a tree. Ow, ow, ow. And apples fell on his head. Oh, oh my goodness. Call an ambulance. The ambulance is here. Oh, yes. Everyone into the ambulance. <laughs> don't worry, Dr. Brown Bear. We are here to make you better. Uh, thank you, but I don't think I need your help. I am the doctor, remember? Yes, but we must do all the checks. I really don't think this is... Not another word. Children, what do we do first? Check, he's away! It is the end of Peppa's holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. <laughs> Why don't you children go and play in the garden while we pack? OK, Mummy. <laughs> this holiday is the best. I loved having you stay, Peppa. I wish we didn't have to go back home. <laughs> Don't be sad. I've got you a goodbye present. Ooh, is it a banana? No. <laughs> Dinosaur? No. It's a thing. Yes, but it's not just any old thing. It's a boomerang. A boomerang? Boomerangs are very special to us. We've used them since olden times. Wow. Thank you, Kylie. Uh, what do you do with it? You play catch with it. Like a ball. Sort of. But when you throw a boomerang, it comes back to you. That's impossible. <laughs> I told you it was impossible. You need to throw it harder. George, you have a go. <laughs> oh, it doesn't work. You're just not throwing it right. <laughs> you need to throw it hard. What? Like this? <gasps> Watch out! Whoa! Ha! I did it! The boomerang has <laughs> flown all the way back to Pepper. <laughs> what was that? It's a Boomerang Daddy. Ah, uh, yes. You have to throw it hard and then it comes back. Allow me to show you, Mr Pig. Are you ready? One, two, three, throw! So, when does it come back? Ah. Keep a good lookout, kids. That boomerang could be anywhere. Let's play ball! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Maybe I'll play later. Gerald Giraffe doesn't want to play because he is sad. To you, Danny! To you, Pedro! Catch, Peppa! Oh! The ball is stuck in the tree. I can't reach it. Let me have a go. No, it's too high. What can we do? Chop the tree down! No! I can get it with my trunk. Ugh. No, I can't. If Emily can't reach it with her trunk, then we'll never get our ball back. What can we do? Chop the tree down! No! If only there was somebody tall enough to reach our ball. Gerald! What? You can reach the ball because you're tall. I can try. <laughs> Gerald Giraffe has rescued the ball. <laughs> oh, I can see something else. There's an animal stuck in the tree. Is it a cat? No, I'm here. It is Tiddles the tortoise. Tiddles! Tiddles! Here is Dr Hamster, the vet. Oh, you naughty tortoise. 
Who do I have to thank for rescuing my tiddles? Gerald! <laughs> thank you, Gerald. My goodness, you are a tall lad. I'm a giraffe. Oh. But you're taller than Gerald, Dr Hamster. Yes, that's because I'm a hamster. Are hamsters always taller than giraffes? Um, I will be taller than Dr Hamster when I'm older. Yes. Grown-up giraffes tend to be taller than grown-up hamsters. There, you're a natural. Is that it? Yes, you are now fully trained. Hooray! All aboard! I'm still a tiny bit worried about this jump daddy pig. It's okay, Mummy Pig. I'll come up in the plane with you. Good luck, Mummy! Don't worry, Mummy Pig. Remember, you've got a parachute. Yes, Daddy Pig. Oh, we are a long way from the ground. Oh, oh dear. Oh. Daddy Pig has fallen out of the plane. There she goes. Oh, wait. That's Daddy Pig. Oh. Wait for me, Daddy Pig. Whee! Mummy Pig has jumped. She is going to rescue Daddy Pig. She's got him! Hooray! My mummy to the rescue! <laughs> Thank you for saving me, Mummy Pig! Oh, Daddy Pig, you're starting to slip! Mr Bull has just finished mending the school roof. Lovely job! It'll last for years! I can't hold on! Ah! Daddy! <laughs> Is Daddy Pig all right? Oh, oh, I'm fine. Good, because you'll need to do that parachute jump again. What? To raise the money to fix this new hole in the school roof. Oh, all right. Hooray for Daddy Pig! George has found a ball. <laughs> ah! Careful, George. This is my greenhouse. It is made out of glass, which breaks easily. Oh. Let's throw this ball out of harm's way. Oi! Who's throwing footballs at my greenhouse? Ah! People who live in glass houses should not throw footballs. You threw it first. It nearly smashed my greenhouse. Call that a greenhouse? It's a pile of rotten old windows. It's good enough for growing tomatoes. I'm amazed you can grow anything in that rubbish tip. I'll grow more than you do in your fancy glass box. <laughs> Grandad Dog and Grandpa Pig are the very best of friends. Grandpa, why is your greenhouse made of glass if glass breaks easily? Because I grow plants in it. Let me show you. These plants like sunlight and glass lets the light in. Ooh, this plant smells lovely. Oh, that's just basil. Granny Pig throws the seeds in a pot and it just grows. Oh. Let me show you something that takes real skill to grow. My tomatoes. They are very small, Grandpa. Eat one and tell me what it tastes like. It tastes of... nothing. Well, they're not quite ready yet. Hello, my little ones. Granny Pig! <laughs> Could I have some tomatoes, please, Grandpa Pig? Uh, no. I I'm afraid the tomatoes aren't ready. Maybe in a few weeks. But I want to make tomato salad for lunch. Grandad Dog is growing tomatoes. Yes. Maybe Grandad Dog will lend us some. Uh Declare this sports center open. Fantastic. We must all exercise. <laughs>
and eat fruit and vegetables. Which ones should we eat, Mr. Potato? Apples, oranges, carrots, tomatoes. Potatoes? Um... Why aren't you small, like a normal potato? Uh... Because he's not a normal potato. He's got legs. Normal potatoes don't have legs. He's a super potato. <laughs> we watch your show every morning. Very good. And remember to send me your drawings. We will. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we will do drawings for Mr. Potato. Hooray! I'm drawing a pineapple. I'm drawing a carrot. Very good. What are you drawing, Emily? A pea. Lovely. And Pedro? It's a super potato. Oh, I see. And George has drawn a wonderful tomato. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, what vegetable have you drawn? My daddy watching television. Oh, excellent. Now, we put the drawings in an envelope and post them to Mr. Potato. It is morning and time for the Mr. Potato Show. Please welcome your friend and man, Mr. Potato! We posted some drawings to Mr. Potato in an envelope. Did you get the envelope? He can't hear you, Daddy. He's on television. Oh, yes, of course. I've received an envelope full of drawings. <laughs> Peppa and George love playing in the garden. George, I'm going to throw the ball and then you have to catch it. <laughs> George, please stop hiccuping. <laughs> George! Now you throw the ball to me and I have to catch it. <laughs> George! Oh dear. George's hiccups are spoiling the game. George, I know how to cure hiccups. You have to do what I say. <laughs> <laughs> rub the top of your head and rub your tummy. Good. Now your hiccups have gone. <laughs> Pepper's cure for hiccups doesn't seem to have worked. George, you have done it all wrong. I know a better way to cure hiccups. First, jump up and down three times on one leg. Now, wave your arms up and down and stick your tongue out. <coughs> <coughs> Turn around quickly, three times. <laughs> Peppa's new cure hasn't worked either. George still has hiccups. I know. To cure hiccups, the ill piggy must be given a shock. George, I'm going to scare you, but you must remember, it's only a game and it'll stop your hiccups. Remember, this is just pretend scaring. Hello, Pepper and George. This is Chloe, Pepper and George's big cousin. But where's our new cousin? Here's your new baby cousin. Ooh. The new cousin is a tiny baby piggy. Goo, goo, goo. Oh, how beautiful. Is it a girl, baby? No, it's a boy. Oh, I wish it was a girl. Me too. <laughs> George is pleased the baby is a boy. Dinosaur. I think the baby's too little to play with dinosaurs. George, the baby doesn't want to play with you. It wants to play with me. Peppa, the baby is much too little to play ball games. But if it can't play with a dinosaur or a ball, what can it 
do? It eats and it sleeps. <coughs> and it does that. <laughs> <laughs> Auntie Pig, can I hold the baby? Yes. If you're very careful, you can hold Alexander. Alexander? That's his name. Baby Alexander. What a big name for such a small piggy. It's quite nice, even though it's a boy. Goo, goo, goo. Oh, what's that smell? Maybe Alexander's nappy needs changing. Ugh, disgusting. Peppa, when you were a baby, you wore nappies. I did not. <laughs> 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 Mummy, can I play with Peppa and George in the garden? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Chloe, is it nice having a little baby brother? Yes, Alexander is very sweet. I wish George was a sweet little baby piggy. I know, George can pretend to be a baby piggy. He can go in my doll's pram. That's a good idea. No. George does not want to be a baby. <laughs> Peppa is playing mini golf on her own. Here is Emily Elephant. Can I have a go? Yes! <laughs> Emily, Susie Sheep is not my best friend anymore. <coughs> so you can be my best friend. But my best friend is Candy Cats. Oh. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Wee! Zoe, if you want, you can be my best friend. But my best friend is Rebecca Rabbit. Oh. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Susie. Hello, Peppa. Ah, good. I see you two are friends again. We are not friends. We will never be friends again. Hmm. I think it's about time you two made it up. Peppa, say sorry to Susie. Only if she says sorry first. Only if she says sorry first. I know. I'll count to three, and you can both say sorry at the same time. All right. One, two, three. Sorry. Now you can be best friends again. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Susie, let's play mini golf. Good idea. Peppa and Susie are best friends again. Me first. My go. My ball went in the hole. So I win. But my ball knocked it in. So I win. You're just making the rules up. You are making the rules up. I win. No, I win. <laughs> you two are just the same. <laughs> That's why Susie's my best friend in the whole world. <laughs> and Peppa is my best friend in the whole world ever. <laughs> <laughs> George is playing with his ball in the garden. <laughs> Pepper wants to play too. George, you're doing it all wrong. This is how to catch a ball. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you do. What a cheeky little one Pepper is. <laughs> George, come back, you little piggy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Peppa is teasing George just a bit too much. Peppa, have you been teasing George? Not really, Mummy. I was teaching him how to catch. Really? Oh, well, I know a game that will teach George how to catch. It's called Piggy in the Middle. <laughs> Peppa, you take the ball and stand over there, and George, you stand over there. Good. You have to throw the ball to each other, and I have to try and catch it. I'm the piggy in the middle. 
Mummy is the piggy in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Catch, George. Oh, missed it. George has caught the ball. Hooray! <laughs> well done, George. Now you throw the ball to Pepper. Oh, try again. Oh, try again. Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Peppa and Susie are best friends. <laughs> Guess what happened to me yesterday? <laughs> yesterday, I went to the duck pond and I saw Mrs Duck. Well, yesterday... Then I went to the supermarket with Mummy. We bought bread, carrots and... What's wrong? You talk too much. You go, blah, 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 blah. Just like that. Blah, blah, blah. Mummy, Susie said I talk too much. Well, you are a bit of a chatterbox, Pepper. Chatterbox? That's right. Chatterbox here, chatterbox there. Chatter, chatter, chatter. You never stop talking. I can easily stop talking if I want to. No, you can't. Yes, I can. You can't. I can. You can't. That's it. I'm never going to talk again. Hello, Susie. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Hello, Zoe. You look nice today. Thank you, Susie. This is my new dress. Why are you not talking, Peppa? Yes, why are you not talking, Peppa? <gasps> this is a silly game. What game are you playing? Susie said I was a chatterbox and I could never be quiet. You're not being very quiet now, are you? <laughs> right, I'm not going to talk ever again. Starting now. Hello, everyone. Hello, Danny. Hello, Danny. What's the matter with Peppa? She's not talking. Oh, who wants a grape? Me, please. Me, please. Mmm, mmm. You can't nod your head. That's cheating. And you can't blink. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Pedro. Pedro. What's the matter with Peppa? She's never going to talk ever again. Let's warm up. Everyone, run on the spot. <laughs> and clap your arms. <laughs> now, stretch. Stretch. Wobble like a jelly. <laughs> <laughs> Rest. Now we're all warmed up, we can start. Start what? Your adventure. I want you to pretend that this room is a jungle. It doesn't look like a jungle. Where are the trees? You have to imagine it. The trees, the rain, the fast-flowing river at your feet. Your first adventure is to walk on this beam across the river. Well, that's easy. Ah, but it's night time and it's windy. <sighs> what? That's how it was for me. It was a dark and stormy night. I was on an adventure. Ready? <laughs> But it's not windy or night time. You have to pretend. Everyone crosses the pretend river safely. Hooray! Well done, my little explorers. What's next, Grumpy Rabbit? Your next adventure is to swing across this swamp full of crocodiles. Ah! can't see any crocodiles. You've got to pretend. Let those crocodiles know who's boss. Go away, you naughty crocodiles. That's the spirit. Did you ever swing across a crocodile swamp? Of course I did. Were you scared? Not as scared as they were of me. <laughs> ah! I broke my leg and they put it in this plaster cast. Wow! The plaster cast helps Pedro's leg get better. I 
grazed my knee and I got a plaster too. Wow. Do you want to draw on my plaster cast? Yes, please. The children are all doing drawings on Pedro's plaster cast. I'm drawing a football. I've drawn some flowers. Mr Potato. A carrot. <laughs> and I've drawn a muddy puddle. Wow! Thanks, everyone. You can draw on my plaster too. OK, I'll draw a little flower. Thank you, Pedro. Pedro, what's it like being in hospital? It's great. What are the nurses like? They give me stickers. Wow. And they come whenever I press this button. Who's that? I wonder. Could it be Pedro? What do you want, Pedro? We are very busy. I've got a bit of an itch. Even if your leg is itching, we can't take the cast off until your leg is better. It's not my leg that's itching. It's my ear. Is that better? Yes, thank you. <laughs> Lunch time. What would you like to eat today, Pedro? Can I have spaghetti and sponge pudding, please? You get your dinner in bed? Yes. Mmm, <laughs> that looks tasty. Dr Brown Bear has come to see how Pedro is doing. How are we today, Pedro? My ear is a bit itchy. Just here. <laughs> Hmm, I'd say you're almost better. <laughs> Visiting time is over. Bye, Pedro! Bye, everyone! <laughs> the girls are in one team, the boys are in the other. That's not fair! We've got little ones on our team. Don't worry, the boys' team will still win. Yeah! We're a super team! <whistles> ah. Emily Elephant is very good at reaching high with her trunk. Emily's using her trunk! It's not fair! Shush, Peppa! She's on our side! Oh, yes, that is fair! <whistles> it's not fair! We want Emily on our team! No, she's in our team! Stop arguing! You can all be in the same team. OK. <laughs> the children are all in one big team. Oh, but who will we play? Um, well... Hello. <laughs> the parents have come to take the children home. I know. You can play the grown-ups. But they are bigger than us. Ah, but you've been taught basketball by Daddy Coach. Yes. Let's play them. We're the children's team. Yay! We're the grown-ups team. All right! I'm quite good at cricket. Yes, well, this is basketball. You throw the ball through the hoop. But you can only use your hands. Or your trunk. But not your feet. Ready, steady, go! Mr Elephant has the ball. Tackled by George. Pass to Zoe Zebra. To Richard Rabbit. And Pepper throws it through the hoop. Yippee! The children have won. Hooray! All thanks to Daddy Coach. <laughs> <laughs> You. And me. And me. I want to race too. Where's your racing car, Peppa? I don't have a racing car. Don't worry, Peppa. You can be the chief mechanic. What does that do? You fix George's car if it goes wrong. Oh, goody. <laughs> I hope it goes wrong a lot. <laughs> Let's start the race. Three times round the garden. Ready, steady, go! Yeah. And they're off. Yeah. Come on, George! Yeah. That's the end of lap one and George is in the lead. What's all this noise out here? I'm trying to watch television. We're having a race, Granny. Yeah. 
That's the end of lap two. And George is still in the lead. <laughs> oh, dear. A wheel has come off George's car. Where's the chief mechanic? Here I am. What do we do? Put the wheel back on. OK, okay chief, chief mechanic. mechanic. No. No. Go, George, go! Oh, dear. George is now at the back of the race. Pedal first, George! Come, Come on, George! George. Come on, George! George is the winner! Hooray! Well done, George! You're the best racing driver in the whole world! <laughs> And you've got the best chief mechanic in the whole world, too. Yes, that's me. <laughs> Hello. Where is the patient? Here. My nose hurts. I see. Say, ah. Uh... Ah. Uh... You need a plaster. There. That will make it better. Hooray! My glasses don't work. Pedro's glasses are all muddy. Oh, Dr. Brown Bear, can you fix Pedro's glasses? No, I can't. You'll need an optician for that. An optician is a doctor who knows about glasses. My daddy's an optician. Hello, Dr. Pony speaking. <gasps> a pair of glasses not working, you say? I'm on my way. Hello, son. What seems to be the problem? My glasses aren't working. Can you read this chart? No, my glasses aren't working. Why, these glasses just need a good clean. <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> yes. Thank you, Daddy. Dr Pony has fixed Pedro's glasses. Hooray! Thank you, doctors. Everything is back to normal. But Tiddles needs helping too. Hmm, its legs are wiggling in the air. It seems to be upside down. Can you doctors help a tortoise in trouble? No, I'm afraid we can't treat animals. Oh. You need a vet. A vet is a doctor for animals. Hello, Dr. Hamster speaking. Upside down tortoise, you say? I'll be right there. Hello, Doctor. Hello, Doctor. Hello, Doctor. Hello, Doctor. Now, where's the patient? Here. He fell out of the tree. This is great! The children are having so much fun! Yes! I just hope we can get them out at the end! <laughs> the little children have been playing all day. Home time, children! <laughs> that was a lovely party, wasn't it? Yes! Have you all had fun? Yes! Are you ready to go home now? No! <laughs> My goodness, we're never going to get them out. There's only one thing for it. I'll have to go in. Good luck. Ooh. <sighs> ah, I'm stuck. Help. Don't worry, I'm coming in. I'm nearly there. Oh, no, I'm stuck too. Help. Hello. Mr Elephant has come to collect Edmund Elephant. Mr Elephant! Help! We're stuck! <laughs> no problem, ladies. I'll get you out. No, don't! You'll get stuck! It's a trap! Ah! I'm stuck! <laughs> Daddy Pig, Pepper and Susie have come to collect George. <laughs> ah, what good little children you are. Uh, where are your parents? Hi! We're, We're stuck! Ho, ho! That usually happens to me! That is going to happen to me, isn't it? I'm going to go in there and get stuck. Me and Susie can go in. We're smaller. That's kind of you both, but it is my job. As a grown-up, I must do this. But, Daddy! Don't worry, Peppa. 
If I get stuck, I will ring for the rescue services. <laughs> ah, yes, I'm stuck. Lucky I've got my phone. Hello, rescue service. Oh, you're in here too. Hello? Grandpa, remember those old boots I gave you? Uh, yes. Daddy needs them back urgently. You have been looking after them. Um, they have been watered. Grandpa Pig is growing tomatoes in Daddy's lucky boots. We need them for the puddle jump today. Righto, I'll meet you there. Everyone has come to watch Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Please welcome your friend and mine, Mr. Potato! Hooray! Good luck, Daddy Pig! Oh, but where are your lucky boots? Uh, here they are. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. I can smell tomatoes. And now for Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Daddy Pig is thinking. Ready, steady, Go! I must become one with the puddle. I must be the puddle. <laughs> the puddle has gone! <laughs> the puddle has gone over all of us! Daddy Pig has become one with the puddle. Everyone has become one with the puddle. It's a new world record! Hooray! Champion Daddy Pig! And who is this? I'm Peppa Pig! One day, I will be the champion puddle jumper. I've been training her. Ah, to be trained by the master. What have you learned? Uh, if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> <laughs> Ready, steady, go! Hooray! Come on, Daddy Pig! You can make it! Come on, Pops! You can make it! The school bus has made it to Windy Castle. Now everyone can enjoy the picnic. Water! Water! What a lovely hot day! And such a relaxing way to raise money, too! Water! Water! Daddy Pig has reached the supermarket. All the running has made him very thirsty. Let's look through the telescope. I can see Daddy! The telescope makes everything look closer. Oh, he's not going very fast. Daddy Pig has arrived at Grandad Dog's garage. Oh, that's it. I can't go on. Daddy has stopped. Oh. You look rather hot. You need something to cool you down and give you energy. Have an ice lolly. Thank you, Grandad Dog. That's nice. Ah, a wasp. Shoo, shoo. Get away, you little pest. The wasp wants to share Daddy Pig's ice lolly. No! This is my lolly. Daddy started running again. Really fast. Hooray! Ah, get off! Get off! You can stop now, Daddy Pig. We have enough money to fix the school roof. Ah! Daddy Pig <gasps> has lost the wasp. Well done, Daddy Pig. All that extra running means we've got enough money for a new school bus, too. Thank, Thank you, Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Oh, oh, you're most welcome. <laughs> it's quite windy. Let's play a game to keep warm. <laughs> <laughs> My turn. Oh, it's not meant to go that way. The wind is blowing the ball along. <laughs> the 
ball is in the pond. Hmm. I'll just use this stick to reach it. Just a bit further, Daddy. Be careful, Daddy Pig. Don't worry. I've almost got it. Whoa. <laughs> Daddy, is the water cold? A little bit. The wind has blown the ball out of the pond. That's lucky. Yes. What a stroke of luck. It's getting even windier. Hold on to your hats. No, the wind has blown George's hat off. <coughs> Don't worry, George. Daddy Pig will catch your hat. Quick, Daddy! <coughs> Look, it's in that little tree. Hmm. I'll just climb up and get it. The tree is much too thin to take your weight, Daddy Pig. So, how can we get George's hat? Simple. I'll give the tree a little shake. Huh. Maybe if I shake it a bit harder. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that sort of thing only happened to me. It's not funny. It is a bit funny, Mummy. I suppose it is a bit funny. <laughs> <laughs> Where's George's hat? It's on your head. <laughs> Here's your hat, George. Hold on to it this time. <laughs> ah. George is a little bit worried. Hmm, Peppa, you're big and brave. Can you show George how to say ah? Of course. Ah. <laughs> ah. Hmm. George has caught a cold. Does George need medicine? No, but he can have some nice warm milk at bedtime to help him sleep. Thank you, Dr Brown Bear. You're welcome. Goodbye. <laughs> George has been in bed all day. Now it is Peppa's bedtime. George, are you better? George is not better. George, please don't sneeze so loudly. <coughs> <sighs> this is impossible. George, here's some nice warm milk to help you sleep. <sighs> the warm milk makes George feel very, very sleepy. Good night, my little piggies. It's so nice and quiet. It is morning. George has slept very well. <laughs> George is better. <laughs> Come on, everyone. It's a lovely sunny day. George is wearing his rain hat. He doesn't want to catch another cold. Oh, George, you don't need to wear your hat. Why? Because it's hot and sunny. Why? George, can you stop saying why all the time? Why? <laughs> <laughs> George certainly is better. <laughs> <laughs> Play football. Yes, football! <laughs> Girls against boys. <laughs> <laughs> we each need a goalkeeper. Me, 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 me! <laughs> Pedro Pony and Rebecca Rabbit will be the goalkeepers. We'll start. <laughs> Richard Rabbit has scored a goal. The boys are winning. <laughs> That's not fair. We weren't ready. <laughs> hey, that's cheating. You can't hold the ball. Yes, I can. I'm the goalkeeper. Go, go Rebecca, go. go. Goal. Hooray. The goal is not allowed. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. What a lot of noise. Daddy. The boys are cheating.
cheating. No, the girls are cheating. It sounds like you need a referee. What's a referee? It's someone who makes sure that everyone plays fair. I'll be the referee. Me, 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 Stop. me. I'll be the referee. <laughs> the next team to get a goal will win the game. Hooray! Where's the ball? <laughs> <laughs> Quick, score a goal! Stop them! <laughs> <laughs> Richard Rabbit has scored a goal. Hooray! The boys win. Oh. Oh. Football is a silly game. Just a moment. The boys scored in their own goal. That means the girls win. Really? Hooray! Football is a great game. <laughs> <laughs> Catch! <laughs> What's this? Dinosaur. Grrr. A dinosaur? Ho, 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 ho. Grandpa, what are you doing? I'm planting these seeds. Seeds? What do seeds do? Seeds grow into plants. I just make a little hole and put the seed in. Then I cover it with earth and water it. Everything in my garden grows from tiny seeds like these. Even the big apple tree? Oh, yes. This tiny seed will grow into a little apple tree, like this. Ooh. And that little apple tree will grow into a big apple tree, like this. Ouch! Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and inside this apple are more seeds. To make more apple trees. Exactly. Grandpa, Grandpa! I want to plant a seed. Would you like to plant a strawberry seed? Yes, please. This seed will grow into a lovely strawberry plant. First, make a little hole. Then I put the seed in and cover it with earth. Shall I water it for you? No, no. I want to water it. Good. Now we wait for it to grow. Pepper and George are waiting for the seed to grow. It's not doing anything. Hold on to your hat, George! Oh dear! The wind has blown George's hat off! George! Catch it! George's hat is caught in a tree. George, you are all muddy. Oh, but your hat is still clean. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. I'll get it down for you. Uh, perhaps I had better help. No, Grandpa. I can do it. Whoops. <laughs> oh, dear. Pepper is covered in mud. I see two little piggies who need a bath. <laughs> George's hat is on top of some reeds in the pond. Lucky for us, your hat is still clean, George. But how do we get it? This is a job for a grown-up. Hmm, I will need a stick. Don't fall in, Grandpa. I know what I'm doing, Peppa. I can reach it. I see a big piggy who needs a bath. <laughs> Grandpa Pig, what on earth are you doing? I'm having a cup of tea. No, you're not. Of course I'm not. That was a joke. It is perfectly clear to see that I have fallen into the pond. That was a silly thing to do. Pepper, George, you're 
both covered in mud too. We were trying to get George's hat back, Granny. Where is George's hat anyway? It's flying in the sky. <laughs> I will get George's hat back and then you can all get cleaned up. Be careful, Granny. I would use a stick. Thank you, everyone, but it's perfectly fine. What do I do? You say, welcome to my circus. See the impossible. The amazing, the incredible feats of daring do. to my circus. It's got amazing feet. <laughs> Moo! Granny Pig's garden party guests are here. Hello, everyone. You're in for a treat. The circus has come to town. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my circus. Now, please be very scared of the amazing candy cat! <laughs> Look at George, Richard and Edmund on tricycle! <laughs> Don't stop clapping! It's the strong Danny dog! <laughs> I was a strong man once. I used to lift tractors. <laughs> <sighs> See, Emily Elephant juggle potatoes and an egg. Oh. <laughs> now laugh a lot at Pedro Pony. He's a clown. <laughs> <laughs> Stop laughing. I haven't done the funny bit yet. Ah, ah. that was the funny bit. <laughs> That's what I call funny. Thank you. That is the end of my amazingly impossible circus. Hooray! That is the best circus I have ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig, you've had this book out for ten years. Naughty Daddy. Sorry, Miss Rabbit. That's all right. Now you can borrow another book. Miss Rabbit, can George and I borrow a book, please? Yes. The children's section is over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. Fairies, flowers, pretty dresses. <laughs> hello, Peppa. Oh, hello, Danny. I'm borrowing a book about football. <laughs> hello, Peppa. <laughs> Hello, Susie. I've got a book about nurses. George has chosen a book about dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <laughs> Look what I found. Further adventures in the world of concrete. Here's a red monkey book. Not the red monkey book. It's boring. But this is a different story. It might be more fun. I bet it's not. Once upon a time, there was a red monkey. Ooh, he had a bath, cleaned his teeth and went to bed. No, he jumped in a space rocket and went to the moon. Mm. He had a picnic with a dinosaur, Ooh. swam under the sea and climbed the highest mountain. That was a busy day. The end. Wow! Read it again. We can borrow it and read it at home, Pepper. But I was going to choose this book or this one. You can take three books home if you want, Peppa. Yippee! But you must remember to bring them back on time. Yes, Miss Rabbit. And you must remember to bring your book back too, Daddy Pig. <laughs> I'll make sure Daddy remembers. Yes, Peppa. I'm sure you will. <laughs> Sometimes Daddy Pig loses his glasses. Peppa, George, have you seen Daddy Pig's glasses? He can't find them anywhere. No, Mummy. Peppa and George do not know where Daddy Pig's glasses are. 
Oh, dear. Daddy Pig cannot see a thing without them, and it makes him very grumpy. Without his glasses on, Daddy Pig cannot read his newspaper. Oh, this is ridiculous. I can't see anything. Somebody must have put my glasses somewhere. Do you remember where you last put them, Daddy Pig? When I don't wear them, I always put them in my pocket. But they aren't there now. Daddy, can we help find your glasses? Good idea, Pepper. If you find them, Daddy will stop being so grumpy. I'm not grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are looking for Daddy's glasses. Pepper looks under the newspaper, but Daddy Pig's glasses are not there. Oh. George looks on top of the television, but Daddy Pig's glasses are not there. Oh. Let's look upstairs in Mummy and Daddy's bedroom. <laughs> Pepper and George are looking in Mummy and Daddy Pig's bedroom. George, be careful not to knock anything over. Ah! <laughs> it's not funny. Pepper looks under the pillows, but Daddy Pig's glasses are not there. Oh. George looks in Daddy's slippers, but the glasses are not there either. <coughs> Pepper is in charge of the lucky dip. Roll up, roll up for your lucky dip. Moo! Hello, Peppa. Hello, Mr. Bull. You've got a green face. I'm an apple. Ooh, would you like to try the lucky dip? OK. What do I do? Just pull a prize out of the barrel. Everyone a winner. Mr. Bull has won a dolly. Can I have a go? Mrs. Cat has won a digger. Oh, do you want to swap? No, no thank, thank you. you. Mr. Bull and Mrs. Cat like their lucky dip prizes. <laughs> <laughs> roll up, roll up. Freddy Fox is in charge of the mummies and daddies race. Thank you. It's all to raise money for a new school roof. I'm quite good at running. <laughs> It's not running, Daddy. It's a sack race. Oh. You have to get in the bag and jump over there. <sniffs> as fast as you can. Right. On your marks, get set, go! Oh! And they've fallen down. Oh. And they're back up again. Hooray! Oh. Oh. Fun, wasn't it? Yes, lots, lots of, of fun. fun. But really, we must thank the children for all their hard work. Thank, thank you, children. children. And we have raised enough money to buy a new school roof. Again. Miss Rabbit's ice cream stall. Daddy, why are you buying an ice cream? Oh, Pepper, I was on the way to the gym when I thought an ice cream would be nice. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is ill. You've got to sell the ice cream today. Oh, oh, I'm an expert at ice cream. Can I have a cherry ice cream? Uh, strawberry, vanilla, chocolate, banana. With pistachio and strawberry, please. Ah, strawberry. Oh, it's melted. How about ice cream soup instead? <laughs> Granddad Dog's breakdown service. Miss Rabbit is ill. Can you drive a bus? Today? Of course, Pepper. <laughs> All aboard! 
Mummy Sheep's car has broken down. Granddad Dog's breakdown service. Can you rescue me, please? I'll be straight there. We would like to apologise for any inconvenience this may cause to your journey. Driving a bus is quite hard. Selling ice cream is quite hard. Running a supermarket checkout is quite hard. Uh, I'm feeling better. Can I get up now? No, you must lie very still, but please keep breathing. Are you feeling any better, Miss Rabbit? It's not easy doing all your jobs. It's not easy looking after your little bunnies. <laughs> you will be back to work tomorrow, won't you? George is the piggy in the middle. <laughs> oh, George is trying to catch the ball's shadow. Silly George, that's not the ball. That's just its shadow. Look. When the ball moves, its shadow moves as well. You've got a shadow too, George. George is trying to walk away from his shadow. You can't walk away from your shadow. You need to run away from it. Peppa is trying to run away from her shadow. Oh, it's still there. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Susie. We're trying to run away from our shadows. No one can run away from their shadow. Oh. You need to use a scooter. Whee! Susie is trying to ride away from her shadow. See? But your shadow is still there. Oh! Hello, everyone. Here is Mr Elephant with Emily and Edmund. Hello. We're trying to run away from our shadows. You can never run away from your shadow. I know. We can't go fast enough. No, Susie. It's nothing to do with how fast you run. You see? My shadow is still underneath me. Run faster! Even if I run faster, my shadow keeps up with me. Daddy, your shadow is too big. It's slowing you down. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that, Emily. Your shadow always stays with you. Why? When something gets in the way of the sun, it makes a shadow like this. Oh. oh. I have the biggest shadow because I'm the biggest. And George and I have the smallest shadows because we are the smallest. Very clever, Edmund. I'm a clever clogs. Have you got a big shiny winner's cap for our bicycle race, please? How important a race is it? It's very important. Will this do? Well, thanks, Dad. It's gold. Yes, it's plastic gold. Ooh. Ooh. One winner's cup is made of plastic gold. Wow. wow. Your daddy's van really has got everything. Yep. Nay. Let's race to Peppa's house. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Press this button and it just disappears. Ooh. Oh. oh. And if you push this button, you can play CDs. <laughs> Friends have all finished together. Everyone's a winner! <laughs> but we've only got one cup. My van has a winner's cup for everyone. Hooray! Mr Fox, is there anything you don't have in your van? Try me. Have you got a banjo? Four or five string. 
<laughs> you won't have a tree in your van. <laughs> Apple or pear? I bet you haven't got a rocket in there. Boxes of five. What about a chicken? One chicken! <laughs> <laughs> Mr Fox's van is magic. It's a super van. Yes, it is. Come on, Freddy. we better get home. Bye. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Have you got a bouncy castle? Yep. A garden shed? Yep. I've got everything. <laughs> oh, I've got no petrol. Pink isn't a very good colour for a football shirt. Ooh. Daddy Pig is home from work. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy. Uh, Daddy Pig? We've got a bit of a problem and, um... <laughs> Tell me later, Mummy Pig. I've got to get ready for football. Now, where's my football shirt? Here. <laughs> Don't be silly, Pepper. That's one of Mummy's dresses. It's pink. No, Daddy. It's your football shirt. It got a bit muddy. So we washed it. And it all went a bit wrong. Sorry, Daddy. But I can't wear a pink football shirt. Why not, Daddy? Pink is a lovely colour. Hmm. What do you think, George? Yuck! George does not like pink. Here are Daddy Pig's friends, Mr Bull, Mr Rabbit, Mr Pony and Mr Zebra. Moo! Is Daddy Pig coming out to play? He'll just be a moment. My team are in white. I need a white shirt. But, Daddy, you have a white shirt. Just take off your jacket. See? Fantastic! Thank you, Pepper. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, oh, Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Like your shirt. Very smart. Thank you. Come on, let's play football. Yes! Go! Go! Hooray! 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 Daddy, you've made your shirt all muddy. <laughs> of course, Pepper. Football shirts are meant to be muddy. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig loves playing football. Everyone loves playing football, especially when it's muddy. OK, let's all play with this spotty ball. <laughs> oh, where's it gone? The ball is lost in the long grass. Now we'll never find it. Hmm. Maybe it is time to cut the grass. Yes, Daddy Pig. I'll get the lawnmower. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Daddy Pig has found the lawnmower. It's a bit old and rusty. Nonsense. It'll have the grass cut in no time. It does seem a bit rusty. Maybe I should phone Grandpa Pig and ask if we can borrow his lawnmower. There's no need to phone Grandpa. I just need to push a bit harder. Daddy Pig's lawnmower is not very good. Oh. I know. Let's phone Grandpa. Hello, Grandpa Pig speaking. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Could you help us cut some very long grass? Oh, ha-ha. <laughs> Certainly. I'll be over right away. Bye. I think this is a job for Betsy. Grandpa Pig is driving his motor mower over to Peppa's house. Grandpa Pig! Papa Pig! Hello, everyone. I hear there's some grass that needs cutting. And it's just a bit too long for my lawnmower. <laughs> Don't worry. Betsy will have it done in no time. Is your lawnmower called Betsy? She certainly is. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Betsy. <laughs> 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 Grandpa, can we ride on Betsy? Of course you can. Hop aboard. Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa. 
all this noise? Whoa! Help! Oh! oh. <coughs> what on earth is going on? What a lot of noise! And look at all this mess on the floor. Someone could trip over and hurt themselves. Someone did trip over and hurt themselves. Oh, dear. Poor Daddy Pig. <coughs> Come on, children. Let's do a bit of tidying up. But, Mummy, we're playing dollies and dinosaurs. You can play again when you've tidied up. But it's all George's mess. Is it really? So this must be one of George's lovely dresses. <gasps> no. <laughs> or maybe some of the mess is mine. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll help George tidy and Mummy Pig can help Peppa. We can have a race. Girls against boys. Good idea. Let's see who can tidy up first. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> We're winning. No, you're not. <laughs> there. Oh, what's this? Teddy, I've been looking for you. Quick, Pepper, put Teddy in your toy basket. <laughs> there. Now these books. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have here? Dinosaur! That's right! It's a dinosaur book. It's George's pop-up dinosaur book. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> <laughs> That's right! Oh! This is a Brontosaurus. Brontosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And this is a Triceratops. Triceratops. <laughs> Abby, steady. I can run at a hundred miles an hour. I can run at a million miles an hour. Peppa, Susie, stop talking and run. Oh! Rebecca Rabbit is in the lead. Oh dear, Peppa and Susie are right at the back. Come on, Peppa! Come on, Teddy! Rebecca Rabbit wins. <laughs> and Peppa and Susie are last. The winner of the race is Rebecca Rabbit. Hooray! Thank you. <laughs> I would have won if you hadn't been talking to me, Susie. Now, now, Peppa. Remember, it's not winning that matters, but taking part. Yes, Daddy. The next event is the long jump. <laughs> George and Richard have to see who can jump the furthest. George, run as fast as you can, then jump as far as you can. <laughs> George, ready? Steady, go! <laughs> George has jumped as far as he can. And now it's Richard Rabbit's turn. <laughs> if Richard doesn't run, he won't jump very far. Richard Rabbit, ready, steady, go! <laughs> Richard Rabbit has jumped <laughs> further than George. And the winner is Richard Rabbit. Hooray! <laughs> George, remember, it's not the winning that matters, but taking part. <laughs> the next race is the relay. Each child needs to pick a parent to race with. Peppa, pick me! Pick me! But, Daddy, you're not very good at running. I was very good when I was a little piggy. But now you have a big tummy. But I can still touch my toes. <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper is playing with her bouncy ball. George and his friend, Edmund Elephant, are playing with their space toys. George is pretending that the bouncy ball is the moon. I was playing with that ball. Oh. Edmund's space toy has landed on Pepper's head. <laughs> this looks fun. 
Are you going to the moon? <laughs> it's just boring space stuff for babies, Daddy. It's not real. But space is real, Pepper, and there are real rockets that go to the moon. The museum has a show all about the moon. <laughs> Should we go and see it? Yay! Yay! Will we really have to go to the moon? No, Pepper, we're not going to the moon. We're going to the museum. OK. Here is the museum. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Have you come to see the moon show? <gasps> yes, Miss Rabbit. Five tickets, please. There you are. Enjoy your trip to the moon. Oh, we really are going to the moon. No, Peppa. It's just pretend. This way for our trip to the moon. Mr Rabbit is the tour guide. Ooh. Prepare for takeoff. It's just pretend, isn't it? That's right, Peppa. It's just pretend. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! We live on a planet. Does anyone know what it is called? The Earth. That's right. <laughs> I'm a bit of an expert at space things. There are seven other planets that go around our sun. Does anyone know what they are called? Uh... Mercury. Oh, well done, Edmund. Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus. <laughs> this is my new friend, Leo Lion. Where is he? There's no one there. Susie has made up a pretend friend. Can't you see him, Peppa? Um... <laughs> Let's play catch. OK. To you, Leo. Pepper throws the ball to Susie's pretend friend. Leo can't catch the ball. He can. He just doesn't like playing catch. What does Leo like doing? He likes to roar. Is he going to roar now? Um, yes. <clears throat> roar! Wasn't that you? No, that was Leo. Ah, hello, Leo. Peppa pretends that she can see Leo Lion. Leo, will you be my friend too? What did he say? He's nodding his head. That means yes. <laughs> Peppa, Susie, would you like to come inside and have some fruitcake? <laughs> Mummy Pig has two slices of fruitcake for Susie and Pepper. Mummy, Susie's got a pretend friend. He's called Leo Lion. I see. And does he like fruitcake too? Rah! Leo loves fruitcake. Don't be silly, Pepper. That wasn't Leo. That was you. <laughs> Leo prefers chocolate cake. I haven't got chocolate cake. Will Leo have some fruitcake? He will try a little slice. Mummy Pig gives some cake to Susie's pretend friend. <laughs> George is playing with Mr Dinosaur. Dinosaur. George, you're sitting on Leo. George does not know that Susie has a pretend friend. If we should check upstairs. <laughs> Papa, George, are you awake? Well, I never. Fast asleep. So, it wasn't Pepper and George making all that noise. I can't hear anything. I think they really have fallen asleep. Let's watch some television. 
gardening. Today we are talking about roses. Oh, I love gardening programs. The Kifts Gate is a particularly thorny rose. To prune it, start by lopping off the head and then snip away the budding shoots. Granny Pig? Pepper? George? You should be in bed asleep. George and I aren't sleepy at all. <coughs> Can we watch TV with you? Well, I suppose watching a little TV might make you sleepy. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Icelandic roses are a rare treat for the discerning horticulturalist, but they are prone to lobbing in temperate habitats. Mm. This program is very boring. Mm. Grandpa Pig, can you play that game where you throw us up and catch us? Spotty ball. Good. Now, before you start playing, you need some sun cream on. <laughs> The sun is very hot, so Pepper and George have to have sun cream on. Let's try out this spotty ball. It seems to work. <laughs> what a great spotty ball. <laughs> George, you throw the ball and I will catch it. <laughs> George, catch! Oh dear, George is too little to catch the ball. Never mind, George. Would you and Pepper like to have a paddle in the sea? Yes, please, Daddy. <laughs> Let's put your water wings on. There we go. You look very smart in your water wings, George. <laughs> my turn, my turn. Good. <laughs> now we can play in the water. <laughs> Is the water cold? It's lovely and warm. Steady <laughs> 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 <Get it> on. <laughs> you started it, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Maybe that's enough splashing. <laughs> I love being at the beach. Pepper and George love the beach. Everyone loves the beach. Pepper, George, would you like to play with your buckets and spades? Yes, please, Mummy. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, can we bury you in the sand? Uh, well. Please, Daddy. No. Oh. You can't pack everything. But we need to take all our toys, Daddy. <laughs> Just take the important ones. OK. I'll take Teddy and George can take... Dinosaur. <laughs> Mummy Pig is packing a big bag for the holiday. Wow! That's a lot of stuff, Mummy Pig. Are you sure we need it all? Yes, it's all very important. OK. It is Susie Sheep. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to play? I can't play today, Susie. I'm going on holiday. Oh, where are you going? I don't know. Somewhere where there's holidays. <laughs> that sounds nice. <laughs> oh. Granny and Grandpa, why are you here? We're here for Goldie the fish. We're looking after her while you're on holiday. Here's Goldie. Don't feed her too much, Granny. OK, Peppa. It is Mr Bull in his taxi. He is taking Peppa and her family to the airport. <gasps> Hello, Daddy Pig. Let me take that bag for you. Whoa! <laughs> That's heavy. Are you sure you need everything in here? Yes, it's all very important. Bye! Bye! Bye-bye! Bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. This is the airport. Goodbye! <gasps> Have a lovely holiday. To 
tickets, please. Here they are. Any bags? Yes. I'm afraid this one's a bit heavy. Don't worry. Just pop it on the scales. <laughs> Anything valuable in it? No. Any more? Yes. <laughs> you can take those little bags on the plane with you. Just join the queue over there. This is the X-ray machine. What's this, Daddy? It's a machine that looks inside things. Ooh! Put your bags on here, please. Look, it's my bag with Teddy inside. Dinosaur. <laughs> That's magic. Uh, let's go this way. Remember, Daddy Pig, this is another country. They may drive differently here. Oh, oh, driving is driving, Mummy Pig. It can't be that different. Strada, porco! Driving in Italy is very different to driving at home. Hello! Yes, we're on holiday. Daddy, why are they beeping their horns at us? I expect they're saying hello. Can we say hello back? Of course we can. Hello! Everyone is so friendly here. <laughs> Pepper and her family are on their way to their holiday house. Ah, we're almost there. Yes, I can feel myself relaxing already. Teddy! Hey, what? We have to go back for Teddy. Uh. Oh dear, it is a policeman. Hello, officer. I don't know what I was doing wrong, but I promise I won't do it again. Good day. I am returning this young bear. He was left on the aeroplane. Oh, thank you. Teddy! Have a lovely holiday. Here we are. Pepper and her family have arrived at their holiday house. <laughs> what have you got in this bag, Mummy Pig? It's all important stuff for our holiday. A lovely plant, our computer, tinned food, hot water bottles, some winter clothes in case it gets a bit chilly, the telephone. Let's ring Granny and Grandpa. <laughs> Granny and Grandpa Pig are looking after Goldie the fish while Pepper is on holiday. Are you sure we're feeding Goldie enough? I'll just feed her a pinch more. <coughs> Mummy Pig is buying lots of things to take home. Mummy Pig, we haven't got room for all this in our suitcase. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. They sell suitcases too. This is the village cafe. Ciao, Gabriela. My uncle makes very good pizza. You eat pizza in Italy? Pizza is Italian food. Oh, goody. I like pizza. A little bit of tomato, a little bit of cheese, into the oven and... Into my tummy. <laughs> Maybe we'll let them cook first, no? OK. Pepper. Let's write the postcard to your goldfish. Yes. I miss her very much. To Goldie. Wish you were here. Love and kisses, Peppa. <sniffs> you can post the card here. Goodbye, postcard. Fly home quickly. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Mmm, yummy. Peppa loves pizza. Everybody loves pizza. <sniffs> Did you like that, Teddy? Yes, it was delicious. Magnifico, Uncle Goat. There will always be a special place for your pizza in my tummy. Thank you. Ciao. Goodbye. Oh, dear. Pepper has left Teddy behind at the cafe. What a lovely, relaxing holiday we're having. Oh, dear. It's the police. Leave the talking to me. Hello, officer. I don't know what I did, but I won't do it again. Mr. Pig, you're Teddy. Teddy! Thank you. Just doing my job, signora. 
Peppa and her family have arrived back at their holiday house. Time for bed. Can we bring Goldie the fish, Mummy? OK. Granny and Grandpa Pig are looking after Goldie the fish while Peppa is on holiday. I do hope we're feeding Goldie enough. What a lovely holiday. Yes, I have never felt so relaxed. Ah, hello, officer. Whatever I was doing, I won't do it again. Mr Pig, here is your teddy. Please, take better care of him. Teddy! <laughs> We're going home today. Susie Sheep cannot wait for Peppa to get back home. Hello, Susie. Is Peppa home yet? No, Susie, but she's flying home now. Flying high in the sky. Flying high and high and high. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's sunny when we get home. Peppa's family have arrived home. <laughs> <laughs> Granny Pig, Grandpa Pig, Goldie! What has Grandpa done to you? Um, she has filled out a bit, hasn't she? Naughty Grandpa, you fed her too much. She was always hungry. <laughs> We've brought you some presents from Italy. Look, Grandpa, a beautiful garden gnome. Oh, you really shouldn't have. Granny, has my postcard arrived? No, Peppa, not yet. Oh. That's my postcard. Hello. Oh, it's only Susie. I really missed you, Peppa. <laughs> I've missed you too, Susie. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are best friends. Here is Mr Zebra, the postman. A postcard all the way from Italy. Ho, ho! We got here quicker than the postcard. Look, Goldie. I sent you this postcard from our holiday. Did you have a nice time on holiday, Peppa? Yes. Did you have a nice time? It rained every day. Oh, Goody. That means there'll be muddy puddles. Look at this spoon. That's my face. It looks funny. Whoa! Now I'm upside down. How does that work? It's a funny magic mirror spoon. <laughs> I know where there are some big funny mirrors. Really? Wobbly mirrors in a tent. Where are these wobbly mirrors? At the fair. The parents have brought the children to the fair. Roll up, roll up. See my amazing wobbly mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> the tent is full of big wobbly mirrors. Ooh, what's happened to my body? <laughs> <laughs> You're a wobbly jelly! <laughs> <laughs> wobble, wobble, wobble! <laughs> How does it do that, Daddy? It's very simple. Illusions of optical differentials by convex and concave surfaces generate patterns... So it's magic? Uh, yes. It's magic. Look at me! <laughs> I've gone all squishy! <laughs> <laughs> I've got a long neck, like a giraffe. <laughs> this mirror looks normal to me. Daddy, where's your big tummy gone? What tummy? <laughs> <laughs> it is Mummy Rabbit with her baby twins, Rosie and Robbie. Hello, sister. How are you today? Very good, sister. Mustn't chat for long, though. I've got customers inside the tent. Oh, and the mirror's amazing, Daddy Pig. Wow. I can see two of you. What do you mean? I can see you in the mirror, but there's no mirror. Is it magic? Silly, Daddy. It's Miss Rabbit and Mummy Rabbit. Oh. I suppose we do look a bit the same. Well, we, we are, are sisters. sisters. <laughs> Are you sure you wouldn't like any petrol? No, we haven't gone anywhere yet. 
<laughs> right. Next stop, the museum. Um, where is Pedro? Petrol pumps. Interesting. Oh, come along, Pedro. Bye. I hope we get to the museum before it closes. Here is the museum. Mr Rabbit is locking up for the day. Hello, Mr Rabbit. We would like to see the museum, please. Hmm. We were just closing, but I can give you a quick tour. This is the King and Queen's room, full of old stuff. Ooh. Hmm. Interesting. Here are the giant dinosaurs. All very nice. Ah! Amazing! Space, rockets and all that. Wow! And through this door is the most amazing place of all. It's the fantastic world you live in. Oh! Thank you, Mr Rabbit. My pleasure. Goodbye. Right. Time to go, children. Where is Pedro? Oh, Pedro! A mollusk. Very interesting. Come on, Pedro, or you'll miss the bus. Where is everybody? The bus has gone. Er, uh, don't worry. Miss Rabbit will realise she's left us behind. Bong, green, blue. Bing, bong, bing. Bing, bong, bing, bing, bong, bing, blue. Nobody has noticed Madame Gazelle and Pedro are missing. Oh, have you missed the bus? Mr Rabbit, I am a teacher. I need your car. Come on, Pedro. We'll take a shortcut. Watch me. Wow! Ah! Oops. I'll just get the ball back. Hello, Mummy Pig. Uh, can we have our ball back, please? Yes, but please play more carefully in future. Yes, Mummy Pig. Sorry, Mummy Pig. Here is Danny Dog. What are you doing? We're playing bat and ball. My daddy is very good at it. He batted the ball all the way into the house. Wow! Can I play bat and ball too? Uh, maybe it's time for a different garden game. Like what? Limbo! What's limbo when it's at home? I'll show you. I know. You jump over it. It's much too high to jump over. Ho, ho! We go under the limbo pole and we need music to do it. <laughs> Daddy Pig is very good at limbo. Wow! Ah, but now we'll put the pole a bit lower. <laughs> OK. Oh! Daddy, your tummy is too big to go under the pole. My tummy is not too big. I just can't bend like I used to. <laughs> <laughs> My turn. And me. And me. <laughs> Well done, everyone. Now we'll put the pole even lower. Ooh. Easy, Daddy. <laughs> it's impossible. Nobody can go under that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. George can do it. Hooray! George is the best at limbo dancing because he is George likes playing garden games. Everyone likes playing garden games. <laughs> They're on their way. Over. I see them coming. Over. <laughs> To do this, I am the teacher, and I wasn't Off supposed to go. be taught. Ooh. Ears and eyes open. Ears and eyes open. Yes. This is fun. Ring your bell. Oh yes, ring bell. 
Brakes! Oh, yes, brakes! Well done. And that's how to ride your bicycles safely. Children, thank the police for taking time off from their important work to talk to us today. Thank you! You're very welcome. When I grow up, I want to be a policeman. And what is it about being a policeman that you like? I like blowing whistles. Very good. But of course there's more to being a police officer than blowing whistles. Oh yes, we're always very busy. We do lots of very important things, like... Uh, the police solve mysteries and drive cars with flashing lights. Nina, Nina! Woo! Spot on, Freddy. Right, we really must be on our way. And remember, always keep your ears and eyes open. <laughs> oh, who put that tree there? Yes, it's not a safe place to put a tree. I'll make a note. Dangerous tree on public highway. Ho, <laughs> oh, ho. Oh. You see, children, a police officer's work is never done. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Peppa loves the police. Everyone loves the police. <laughs> Mummy, can we play Happy Mrs Chicken on the computer? Not at the moment, Peppa. I need to finish the important book I'm writing. Daddy Pig is in the kitchen making lunch. Daddy, when can we play Happy Mrs Chicken? When Mummy has finished writing her book. Oh, that's it. After lots and lots of hard work, I've finally finished writing my book. Well done, Mummy Pig. Now we can play Happy Mrs Chicken. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> You did save your work, didn't you? Ah, no, I didn't press save. Forty, ninety, ten, million, hundred and twelve. <laughs> well done, George. That's the highest score ever. <laughs> Duh, my work. Where's my work? Ah, there it is. Quick, save, close, send. You. Is your work all right, Mummy? Yes, Peppa. I've just sent it off to be made into a real storybook. Ooh, a storybook! Not just one book. Lots and lots of books. Going to bookshops everywhere. Wow! wow. Mummy, can you read us your story? Yes, I'm going to read it to you and your friends at Playgroup tomorrow. <laughs> Mummy Pig has arrived at the playgroup with lots of copies of her new book. Thank you, Mummy Pig, for coming to read your new book to us today. It's very exciting. These books are so new, I haven't even opened one yet. Children, Mummy Pig has worked hard to write this book. So we must listen politely, even if it is not very good. Thank you. It's about an onion. Ooh. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. Four seven six eight five nine three. Oh. Carefully into the water. I can't see anything. There's nothing in there. Wait, I think I see something. Hello, I'm Mrs. Crocodile. I'm the keeper in charge of the penguins. Ah, oh, penguins! Adorable, aren't they? And now it's their feeding time. Penguins eat fish. Ooh. Penguins are very good at catching. And waddling. <laughs> <laughs> and they like to swim. If you look through the glass wall, you can see the penguins swimming underwater. Wow! They're really good at swimming. Yes, that's why we have this fancy pool for them. Very interesting. Thank you, Mrs Crocodile and Mr Lion. It's our pleasure, Mrs Wildebeest. Gazelle. Of course, yes, gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> what animal are we meeting next? I can see it. It's very tall. It's a giraffe. Yes, that's my dad. He's a keeper at the zoo. Hello, I'm Mr Giraffe. Hello, Mr 
Mr Giraffe. What sort of animal are you looking after? See if you can guess. <laughs> Look up there. There's a net. It must be a flying wild animal. It must be hiding, watching us, waiting to pounce. <laughs> Ooh, butterflies! Mr Giraffe looks after the butterflies. Is it the butterflies' feeding time? Yes, and the butterflies get all the food they need from these flowers. It is amazing they can live on just the food from flowers. I wish I could get by just eating flowers. Yes. All this talk of eating has made me quite hungry. Me too. Well, it's our feeding time now. What's for lunch today, Mr Lion? Oh, lunch boxes for everyone. Sandwiches, fruit juice and an apple. Little picnics in boxes. Tuck in, everyone. Hooray! <laughs> when we have a picnic, Mrs Duck always shows up. Ah, there's no chance of Mrs Duck showing up in the middle of a desert. Oh. It is a duck-billed platypus. Mrs Duck-billed platypus always shows up when we have picnics. <laughs> Food's ready. Corn on the cob for everyone. Hooray! Pepper likes corn on the cob. Everyone likes corn on the cob. I think it's time for a game. Sure thing. I've brought a cricket bat. Oh, do you play cricket in Australia? Do we play cricket? We're born playing cricket. Cricket! <laughs> How do you play it? You hit the ball with the bat. Ah! If we catch it, you're out. Ready, Dad? You're out, Dad. Ha-ha! <laughs> You'll go, Peppa. <laughs> Good shot, Peppa. <laughs> oh, dear. The ball has landed in the tree. It's the only tree for miles, and our ball gets stuck in it. <laughs> if I lift you up, Pepper, can you see the ball? Uh, a teddy bear is holding on to it. That's not a teddy bear, Pepper. That's a koala. Thanks, mate. That is the sweetest animal I've ever seen. But you are sweet too, Mrs Duckbill Platypus. Yes, you are. OK, everybody, it's home time. You're staying at our house tonight, Peppa. Yippee! I loved our picnic in the outback. Can we do it again tomorrow? There are loads of other great things we can do while you're here, Peppa. Oh, goody. Night-night. Night-night. <laughs> Pepper and George are asleep after their first day on holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. <laughs> George wants to go surfing. Sorry, George, you're a bit too little to go surfing. Oh, the waves are getting too big for Pepper and Kylie. Oh, is it time to go home? Are you kidding? These waves are perfect for grown-ups to surf. That's proper surfing. These waves are awesome. Wow. wow! Kylie, where's your little brother? He's out there with Mum. <laughs> Having fun, Joey? <laughs> <laughs> Your turn to surf, guys. Thank you, but I'm quite happy to watch. Why don't you have a go, Mr Pig? Why not? It does look fun. Aw, the waves have gone. Too bad, Mr Pig. Looks like you've missed your chance to surf today. Oh, that's a shame. But it's just right for little George to go paddling in. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come with you, George. <laughs> no surfing, George, but you can sit on me instead. George likes sitting on top of Daddy Pig. <laughs> Look at that wave coming! Crikey, it's a big one. Daddy, there's a big wave coming! Wave! wave. wave. What's that? Wave! Wave! wave. 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 <laughs> 
I think they want us to wave, George. Cooey! <laughs> Cooey! George is using Daddy Pig as a surfboard. <laughs> wow, George has got great balance. <laughs> You're a natural surfer, George. Maybe you can teach me a few tricks. <laughs> George is the best. But how can you work in the sea? With this submarine. Wow! Do you want a ride? Yes, please! Okay, hop in! <laughs> wow! It's all the colours of the rainbow! That's coral! Coral is made of lots and lots of tiny creatures. Ooh! And the coral stretches for miles and miles. We call it the Great Barrier Reef. It's my job to keep the coral safe. Can we take some coral home with us? Sorry, Pepper. We can look, but we mustn't touch. If every visitor took a little bit of coral home... Soon all the coral would be gone. We must never, never take anything away from here. Ah! Oh, look! Little fish. They're clownfish. Clownfish? <laughs> they do look quite funny. Look over there. A big blue starfish. There's a tiny red one. And a spiky green one. What's that? That's a turtle. Ooh. Hello, Mrs. Turtle. How are you today? <laughs> you see how lucky I am to work in such an amazing place, Peppa? <laughs> Look, a little bridge, just like in your fish tank. Oh, 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 you're right, Peppa. It is quite like the fish tank here, except there's no treasure chest, of course. <laughs> <laughs> what have you seen, George? It looks like a chest full of gold coins. Wow! wow. George has found a treasure chest. You see, Daddy, everything is the same as the fish tank. What? Like this? <gasps> Watch out! Whoa! Aha! I did it! The boomerang has <laughs> flown all the way back to Pepper. <laughs> what was that? It's a Daddy. Ah, uh, yes. You have to throw it hard and then it comes back. Allow me to show you, Mr. Pig. Are you ready? One, two, three, throw! So, when does it come back? Ah. Keep a good lookout, kids. That boomerang could be anywhere. I think we might have found it. Hello. This is Mr Wallaby. He is the next door neighbour. Uh, hi Mr Wallaby. I was, uh, just teaching these kids how to throw a boomerang. Sorry about your window. Well, there's no worries there, mate. What's a broken window between friends? <laughs> Mr Wallaby is a very nice neighbour. Don't let it happen again, though. Thanks. Like I was saying, to throw a boomerang, you need to throw it hard. What? Like this? That's it, Daddy! It's coming back! Here she comes! Here she comes! Catch it, Mr Pig! Ah, missed it! <gasps> oh, no! The boomerang has broken another window. Well, <laughs> I think we should be going. Well, you've still got some windows left. Hey, no! You can't leave until I've had a go. Let me show your mates how a boomerang should be thrown. Thanks, Mr Wallaby. Ah, uh, don't mention it. That's what neighbours are for. <laughs> now, the trick is you need to throw the boomerang more upright. Like this. Ooh. Ooh. It's good. It's good. It's a good throw. Here it comes. It's good. It's looking... Oh, no! Someone catch it! Oh, dear. The boomerang has broken another window. 
Podcasts. Mary had a little lamb. Oh, yes. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, Mary went, Mary went. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. It had a sheep in it. <laughs> That was lovely, Pepper. Thank you. Who else has a favourite nursery rhyme? I like Little Bo Peep. And can you sing Little Bo Peep? Yes. And it goes like this. <gasps> Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. I don't like that one. It's about sheep getting lost. It's too sad. Yes. Does anyone know a nursery rhyme that isn't about sheep? Me! Me! Yes, Pedro? <gasps> ba ba black sheep! Oh, sorry. I know one about a cat. Oh, splendid candy. Can you share it with us? <coughs> hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. Mm. The little dog loved to see such fun. <laughs> Dish ran away with the spoon. <laughs> Dishes <laughs> running away with spoons? And cows jumping over moons? Crazy stuff! <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? I know a rhyme about a mouse. Very good, Freddy. Hickory dickory dog. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one makes a lot more sense. Mice do like to run around. Madam Gazelle, I know a rhyme that has numbers in it. Excellent, Wendy. Please share it with the class. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger. Little finger on my right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. Okay, George, let's get a dinosaur. This way, George. No, no, that way. Back, forward, down. Dinosaur toy is too heavy for the grabber. Oh, try again! Oh no! We got a Mr. Potato doll! Mm. The Mr. Potato doll is just the right weight for the grabber. Aren't you lucky? And he's yours to keep! Oh. But the best news is you have earned your digger badges! You are fully qualified Digger Drivers! Hooray! <laughs> Thank you for visiting Digger World, where all your digger dreams come true! Bye! Bye-bye! <laughs> I really like Digger World because we get to drive... Stop! <laughs> it is Mr Bull. What's the matter, Mr Bull? We're building a wall across the road! Digger! Digger! <laughs> Mr. Bull, can we drive your digger? Oh, I'm afraid children can't drive diggers. But we've been to Digger World. We've got badges. Oh, that's okay then. Hop aboard! <laughs> I'll drive the digger, and you can have the important job of pushing the buttons. <laughs> Okay, now, push the button. What? This red one? No, the green one! Ah! The digger has knocked over the new wall. Sorry, Mr Bull. <laughs> Building things up, then knocking them down. It's all part of the fun with diggers. Pepper and George love diggers. Everyone loves diggers.